tell me that your hope is in me. This is a prophecy of love, a message by Jesus Christ. My child, have my peace. Peace, child, come. I want you to love and look for higher things. I am constantly helping you to reach a higher level of prayer. I remain always near you. Be strong. I love you to passion, and my love shall remain. Dearest soul, be patient. I shall unfold everything in its own time. Yes, everything has its own time. My spirit has come down to rest on you, so let nothing disturb you. The prince of this world, that is Satan, the prince of this world has great power, and this was given to him to accomplish the scriptures. I have told you this so that you understand. Never doubt of my presence. I am with you to guide your feet into the ways of perfection, but you, my child, no one reaches perfection unless they go through my cross. Learn that self-abnegation will lead you into the path of perfection. I will be glorified and you purified. I know with what reluctance and difficulty your, soul, your spirit accepts the special way I have given you, but this is one more reason why I have chosen you. I desire to have in my hands a simple and weak instrument, a nothing to shame the wise and the learned. I wanted someone without any knowledge. I have chosen you, and not you me. I am the Holy One who came to pitch my tent in you. I have come upon you suddenly like a sweet breeze, and like the wind no one knows from where it comes from. Lean on me now. I shall guide your step. I shall never abandon you, ever. You are living under my light. You have so inherited my love. So hope, daughter. Tell me that your hope is in me. Have faith, daughter. And, well, daughter, it says your daughter, but it could be son and daughter, all his children. Tell me that you have put your faith in me, in all his fullness, and I will tell you that your soul shall be rewarded. Have faith and exalt me by offering it to me. Love, my child, tell me that you love me with all your heart, your soul, and with all your mind. Show me that you, your love is pure. My beloved, show me that you have your love your neighbor as yourself. Pupil, have faith in me, me and love me and reach perfection. You are not alone even in your sleep, meaning also our spiritual sleep. Beside you I am. Learn that heaven is rejoicing, for I have through you your pains saved a soul. I have, with the love you have for me, warmed a heart. Do not fear, my child. Have my peace, and honor me by remaining faithful to me. Despise all that is not holy. Thirst for all that is me. I have cultivated your soil to yield a harvest, and through your perseverance, do not take this on yourself, I have worked and toiled in you. I have lifted your soul to me, and I tell you, my mercy is great. Oh, if you only knew and realized fully what I have offered you, I am like a mother to you. I am protective like an oversensitive mother who cares for her child. I am, I have these in these past years revealed my face to you, have I not? Of course, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives, every time we open the Holy Bible, he gives us messages, right? Now, I, the light, he says, have come in you and have given you light in your darkness. Are you happy to have been with me all these years? Wait and you shall see how happy you shall be in paradise. I have prayed to the Father for you that he may overlook your astonishing weakness, my child, and that he maintains your strength by giving you his strength. I have guaranteed to you that you will glorify me in the end. Pray, my child, that peace may come in this world. Love me and be blessed. And I, I open this by random in True Life in God. And I, we always get our answers that way. Then I opened up concerning, um, unfortunately, a, a priest that uh, is not, uh, I don't know, what, what can we say, is not to... Christ standards, perhaps. You know, sometimes priests, because they wear the priestly garments, think that the garments make them. And um, sometimes they hurt their flock. 
and it opened up on Zechariah chapter 11, the two staves, Zechariah 11, 7. Uh, but I shall tend the sheep of the slaughter in the land of Canaan. I will take to myself two staves, the one I called beauty, the other I called line. And I shall tend the flock, and I shall cut off three shepherds in one month, and my soul shall be weighted down by them, for their souls have roared against me. The shepherds I mean here, he means the pastors and the priests, right? And I said, I will not tend to you. That which dies, let it die, and that which perishes, let it perish, and let the rest of them devour the flesh of each of his neighbor. And I shall take my staff beauty, and I shall cast it away to break my covenant which I made with the people. And in that day I will be, it, they will be scattered about, and the Canaanites shall know the flock is kept safe, for this is the word of the Lord. And I shall say to them, If it is fitting in your judgment, give me my payment, or refuse it. And they established my wage at thirty pieces of silver. That's the price of a slave in ancient Israel. Thirty pieces of silver is also what they, what, um, they paid Judas for uh, being, betraying Jesus Christ. And I took the thirty pieces of silver and threw them into the smelting furnace in the house of the Lord. And I threw aside the second staff, the line, to disband the possessions between Judah and Israel. And the Lord further said to me, Take even for yourself the equipment of a shepherd, of an unskilled shepherd. For behold, I rise up a shepherd against the land, one who will not care for the sheep who are abandoned nor seek the scattered ones, nor heal the injured, nor even guide the healthy, but instead he will devour the flesh of the choice ones, and he will tear them apart joint by joint. Woe to you shepherding the flock carelessly, forsaking the flock. The sword shall be against his arms, and against his right eye. His right arm shall be completely withered, and his right eye shall become totally blind. And before opening up the passages, um, I was thinking about the progression of my spiritual life and of my life in general, and how uh, the Lord, I guess you would say, as he took Moses and the Israelites out of Egypt, they kept on looking back to remember what their life was like before being guided by the Lord. And I, I keep reminding myself of that passage. Don't look back. Don't look to your left or to your right where there are devouring wolves and lions, but look straight to our Lord Jesus Christ because he guides us. And he chooses us, as he said in the first part of the, of the video. He's the one who chooses us. and We put all our love and faith and hope in him, and he guides us. He is also the one protecting us and fighting for us. We don't fight back. He's the one that sees everything and fights for us. And we, the greatest commandment, of course, is to love our neighbor like, like ourselves. It doesn't mean that we are a carpet for them to walk on, but we do have boldness in the Holy Spirit. Please leave your comments. And thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.